I've been wanting to show this for a while. Um, when my son was in uh, elementary school, I believe, he was in the Science Olympiad program, and we had competed in several different events over the years. And uh, he happened to have this one event, which was a rubber band shooter or something. And so there were some plans to build a rubber band shooter out of wood. And um, since I'm a fabricator and I don't like to build stuff out of wood, I like steel, I decided to build him the best shooter you could come up with. And so let me just show you this real quick. This is all steel. It's got a uh, basically an eighth inch plate on the bottom. It's a um, two by four square tube in the center up here, this piece. And then this section is a sector gear from a, a bicycle or a go-kart uh, sprocket. So I built a pivot point on the center of that and then I cut it up to fit the way I wanted it to. Um, the idea being that I can pull this pin and I can rotate this up and down on this plane right here um, and adjust it to any one of these settings that I have on the bottom. The rod is basically a half inch or a three, maybe three eighths, three eighths half inch, um, just piece of bar that I got at the hardware store. And what I did is I indexed, I cut a little groove at every inch and I indexed it with the numbers and then I put a hash mark in between on the half. The very front, I cut a bird mouth, as it's called, so that you can take the rubber band and hook it around that front section, draw it back. Um, from there, I took basically a ground clamp um, for your house, like if you're grounding a drove a rod in the ground and you want to uh, connect a copper cable, you would use a clamp like this. Well, from that I epoxied a clothespin. That's my trigger mechanism. And so you can set your distance, you know, if you had to, um, you could create a chart, you know, if you set it, let's say at three, and then you set your elevation at, you know, one, two, three, whatever, through ten, um, you can see that, there it is you could create a chart and be accurate every single time when you fired your rubber band based on a distance. Um, I was a mortar gunner in the military so this would all make sense to me but if you could change your elevation and then basically your propulsion or uh, in the mortar it would be a charge setting you could make this thing fire just about any distance you could create a chart and as long as you had consistent rubber bands you could um, win the competition every single time. But just thought I'd show that to you. This is one of the crazy things I like to do when I have a, you know, the kids have a project and uh, just thought you might want to get, you might get a kick out of that. Probably never see another one like it.